Goals change games. They can also change careers. Swindon Town have a couple of strikers bang in form. One of them a painter, the other a former bricklayer. Tony Lockwood reports. Charlie Austin is the talk of the town. Just a few months ago, he was playing semi-pro football with Poole Town until Swindon handed him the chance of a lifetime and he's responded in the best possible way. It's been a dramatic change of fortune. I've had a great start to the first team football, four goals in three games, but in a whole as a team, we've, we're flying at the moment in the playoffs and I was just wildest dreams that I'd ever ever get a start before Christmas in the first team and then I've obviously taken my opportunity. His strike partnership with Billy Painter may be in its infancy, but it's showing real signs of promise. Goals have been the problem, but not anymore. I like playing up front with Bill. Bill's a good lad and uh, he's a good player, you know, and he's quite strong and he's, and he's real clever and I can only learn from Billy. And uh, if I can do what he's, half of what he's done in his career, hopefully I'll have a good one myself. This season we've chopped and changed with partnerships uh, and let's say the last three weeks it seems to click. Uh, the only time it's when I've had a decent uh, partnership in the last year or two is with, with me and Coxie and obviously Coxie moved in the summer and it's nice that now that uh, me and Charlie are gelling. They make the short trip down the M4 this weekend for a West Country derby with Bristol Rovers. For town boss Danny Wilson, once of Bristol City, it's a special fixture. We've had some terrific games over, over a period of time, like you say, when I was at Bristol City. But um, again, this one again is, is, uh, is as feisty as any of them. You know, Swindon and, and Bristol, you know, it's about 40 minutes down, uh, down the road. So um, we'll take a good contingent to following. So um, it, it promises to be an exciting game. They've got good fans. Uh, I, quite, I quite like the, the stadium, the, the, the stand behind the goal. It's, you know, it's like a standing up. It's old terrace there. Uh... Four straight league wins has propelled Swindon back into the playoff places. The town has recently been twinned with Disney World in Florida. They might not be playing fantasy football just yet, but there's cause for optimism. We are performing quite well, you know, and um, I think the defining thing is, as you said before, is the goals. You know, we, we're starting to take chances now, where possibly before we weren't. Canny manager, isn't he, Danny Wilson? And I love the story about Charlie Austin. Um, his opportunity has now come along and he never thought it would for him. He goal a game for Poole in the Wessex Premier. Uh, suddenly into the Football League and um, scoring goals. I think it's a fantastic story and, and, and maybe young players out there can have a look that he started out at Reading and um, his dream was crushed and got released. But he moved on and he, he got playing and, and made a name for himself at Poole and got his chance again back in the Pro League at, at 20. And at the moment, he's taken his chance, and uh, good luck to him. Uh, you know, I'm sure lots of other players have gone down that road and not bounced back, but he has, and uh, you can. It's maybe the one that got away from Bournemouth as well, because they were looking at him, of course, they've got a transfer ban. Um, but for Swindon, uh, they've won their last four games now, so things have turned around, and coming up, they've got a couple of West Country derby games, with the Rovers, of course, as we've heard there, uh, and also Yeovil. So they, they could make a... a a good impression on, on the top six now, couldn't they? They can indeed. I think Danny Wilson, um, as you said earlier, is a, is a canny manager. He knows what the uh, league's about. And obviously, if he can pick up bargains like uh, Austin and, um, and cement his, uh, his squad, maybe they can make a push for the top six in the season. OK, one game played in Coca-Cola League One on Friday night. It's Brighton against Colchester. And it finished Brighton 1, Colchester 2, all the goals in the first half. Phil Eiffel and Tony Wordsworth put Colchester 2 up after 14 minutes. Phil Eiffel, his first career goal. Gary Dicker replied for Brighton after 42 minutes. So that win takes Colchester up to third. Three points behind Charlton, having played a game more. At the top, Leeds have a four-point lead over Charlton with a game in hand. Brighton stay in the bottom four, a point behind Oldham, having played a game more. Stockport remain bottom after losing their last seven games. Fixtures in Coca-Cola League One on Saturday. It's Brentford against the leaders, Leeds. Bristol Rovers play Swindon. Swindon have won their last four games. Carlisle against Wickham. Carlisle are unbeaten in their last three. Huddersfield against Gillingham. It's Leighton Orient versus the MK Dons. The MK Dons have lost four of their last five games. Millwall against Walsall. Walsall have won four of their last six. 
It's Oldham against Exeter. Oldham have lost five of their last six games. Southampton play Tranmere. Southampton have won their last three. Tranmere unbeaten in their last three games. Southend up against Hartlepool. Southend have lost their last three games. The bottom club Stockport play Charlton. And it's Yeovil up against Norwich. Norwich have won six of their last seven games.